Right, hello and welcome to the next um, part of how uh, this particular Knitmaster knitting machine works. Last time we talked about punch cards um, and I showed you these. And these are our memory drums. Now they're actually mounted on the carriage now and you can see there are two of them. Okay, so they're going to pick up, just like before, they're going to pick up the, um, the programming of the bits that are there. But what you can also see is I showed you this bit here, which is the wiping mechanism. And can you see it's operated by this, which operates either the left or right wiping mechanism, depending on how it's pushed. And there is here a little bar which pushes it and wipes it. Which means that if I go from right to left, this drum here is wiped first and then picks up the row. And then if I go back again, it's this drum here that is wiped and picks up the row. OK, which means if I allow this thing to click forwards, OK, it's going to pick up a row one at a time, move it forwards, OK, and at any given time, the um, drum which is in front, the leading drum, is going to have a memory programmed on it, whilst the trailing drum is wiped and then reprogrammed. So this is pro this is doing its thing, and this is being wiped and reprogrammed. This is being wiped and reprogrammed, and so on. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, uh, and then the next thing is, how does it then actually pattern? Well, down here, you can see these things are disappearing down into the bottom of the carriage, okay? And if I bring some needles forward, well, firstly, if I bring some needles forward and don't don't program them, so I'll pull that all back like that. Okay, um, you will see in the normal run of things. Um, uh, see, I've, I've got it set, up, but okay. In any case, let me run it past, and you can see that as it runs past. Can you see down here? It's pushing some needles forward and some not forwards, and that is depending on whether or not they are selected by the drum. So if I then set it to to go through, you can see that as I go through, each drum is programming this set of needles. And the beauty of them being round is it doesn't matter if there's 24 needles or 48 needles or any number of needles you like. So I can bring forward really loads of needles, okay, and it will still do the same 24 stitch pattern over and over again, which you should be able to see there. So that's how the needles are selected. They're simply pushed into or out of place by these drums. So that's actually most of the complicated way of this machine works sorted. So in the third and final part, I will show you um, what it does with the fact that the needles are pushed forward or not. I'll see you next time. Thank you.